This honeycomb cherry cake recipe looks as delicious as it tastes. It's made of layers of spiral puff pastry filled with cherry and layered with mascarpone frosting, then decorated with chocolate and cherries. What's even better is that it's made with just four simple ingredients. Cherries, mascarpone, heavy whipping cream, and puff pastry. Let's get right into it. Begin by preheating your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a store-bought puff pastry, you'll need three sheets, and thaw it at room temperature. When it's soft and easy to work with, roll the puff pastry into a rectangle. If the dough gets a little sticky to your board, dust with a little flour. Cut each sheet into three long strips. Line cherries in the middle of each strip. It is very important that you drain your cherries from their juice through a sieve. You can use canned cherries or frozen. Pinch two ends firmly together, enclosing the cherries inside. Make sure you secure it with egg wash. Combine three long logs together, then coil inside a 9-inch round cake pan lined with parchment paper. Brush your puff pastry with egg wash and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. Meanwhile, repeat the process with the other two puff pastry sheets. If you have two or three baking pans, the process will be much easier and faster. Once golden in color and puffed up, remove from oven and transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Bake the second and the third puff pastry filled with cherries and let them cool at room temperature. While the cakes are cooling, let's prepare the mascarpone frosting, which happens to be my favorite. In a bowl of a mixer fitted with a whisk attachment, add 16 ounces of mascarpone and lightly mix it. Slowly add two cups of heavy whipping cream and whip on medium-low until soft peaks. Stop the mixer and look at this! So luscious and so silky! At this point, add two cups of powdered sugar, and I'm using my homemade powdered sugar. The recipe is simple. Blend two cups of granulated sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch, and bam, it's done! Take care not to overbeat the frosting. 30 seconds after you add the powdered sugar is enough to get this amazing result. Once your cake layers are completely cooled, Place the first cake on a platter and start assembling this masterpiece. Add roughly a quarter of your frosting and smooth the top. Repeat the process with the second and the third cake layer, making sure the amount of frosting in between your layers are the same. Be generous with your frosting, the puff pastry will absorb most of it. Now use more frosting to cover your sides. For the best results, you'll need a big and a small spatula, also a cake smoother. Place your cake in the fridge for 4-6 to six hours or best overnight allowing the cake layers to soften and absorb the delicious frosting. When the honeycomb cherry cake is set, take it out of the fridge. It's time to decorate! Take half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and melt it in the microwave, mixing every 30 seconds until you obtain this result. 
When done, add roughly 4 tablespoons of cream and mix to combine. Pour the chocolate ganache on top of the cake, right in the middle. Use a spatula to spread it all over the top. Cover the sides very roughly, just like that. Place it in the fridge to set. Meanwhile, melt another half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips using the same technique. This time, pour it on a square parchment paper. Use a spatula or a brush and make a similar design. Grab the four corners and fold it to fit in a medium measuring cup. It doesn't have to be perfect or a certain way, your decoration will be unique each time. Place it in the freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. When ready, take it out and carefully remove the parchment paper. You're left with something similar to a small chocolate basket. Use some melted chocolate and smudge the bottom. This will help stick it to the top of the cake. Now decorate with your prettiest cherries on top of the cake and inside your chocolate basket. The final step is to dust with some edible gold powder. And this masterpiece is ready. To ensure a clean cut, dip your knife in boiling hot water. Dry your knife with the kitchen towel and slice your cake. Repeat the process after each slice. Tartness of the cherries balances perfectly with the sweet filling, while the chocolate ganache and the decoration makes it look like a masterpiece and masterpiece it is. This cake is my childhood favorite and it's always a stunner to present to guests. Your guests will be blown away at the design inside the cake when you slice into it. Now, bon appetit!